What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today I am going to show you how to create procedural textures inside of Unreal Engine 5. It's going to be very easy to follow, so let's get started. But first, if you are serious about learning and making your first game in Unreal Engine 5, join my Unreal Club. Inside, you will be able to download entire private files from my tutorials, enter private meetings and webinars with industry experts, access exclusive ebooks packed with the best tricks, get powerful asset frameworks to speed up your blueprints, and much more. The link is in the description. With that said, let's continue with the video. Alright, so the first thing that we need to do is go up into Edit, Plugins, and Search for texture graph and you have to enable this plugin over here it is still an experimental but i've been using it for a bit and it's pretty pretty good so just enable this and restart the editor and once you have the plugin enabled just go into the content browser right click and then search for texture graph and you can see it over here so let's name it something as tg for texture graph underscore and then whatever in this case let me just put texture as an example and open this up nice so as you can see it is pretty much like a blueprint but for textures okay it's a mixture between blueprint nodes and material nodes right the material editor slash graph that we have from view engine 5 it's like combining both together okay so as you can see the first thing that we see on here is the main graph where we can go ahead and add all of our nodes connect them together and we have here the first node, which is the output. Okay, this is pretty similar to the material output node where we can go ahead and have the final result. Then, as you can see here, we have a bunch of nodes that we can use and simply drag and use, right? And it's super cool because we can just drag it and we have a whole library here. Additionally, of course, we can also right click and have it through here. So it's really, you know, the easiest thing for you, but it's pretty cool to have it. Um, as there's not a lot of nodes, it's just nicely to kind of see what we need over here. Then we, of course, have the details panel when we select a node and we're going to adjust all of the parameters for it. And then, of course, we have the 3D preview and we also have a node preview once I start to you know, generate something. So there's a couple of things that we can do to kind of, you know, experiment with this texture graph plugin. So first of all, what we can do is add a color node and the color node does what it says just we can go ahead and just change the color here to for example blue and connect this to the output and guess what we now have a blue texture <laughs> obviously you wouldn't want to just set a color for this texture graph that would be super stupid you can just do that through a material but i'm just showcasing a bit step by step what can we do with the texture graph? As you can see, it's as simple as just adding nodes and connecting them together as like I mentioned, blueprints or the material graph. So now here comes where we can start to do cooler stuff. Okay, if we go here and search for this pattern node, we can generate a pattern. And this is how we can actually start to do interesting stuff. And we can start to combine patterns with colors and thresholds to generate textures. So first of all, this pattern is very simple. We just have like a grid. I can connect it here and we have a simple grid. But as I mentioned before, if I select this node and go into the details panel, I can start to play around with everything. For example, the placement, the square, the jitter. Okay, so I could go here and put circle. It will be a circle checker, the same gradient. It is super cool. Now let's leave it for a square just for now. And we have some things as for example, the repeat, right? So we could have more um, kind of, you know, columns, right? Or we can do it the other way around. It is really up to you. So in my case, let's go ahead and generate a simple kind of wooden plank texture. Okay, so we want to have more columns across the X rather than on the Y, right? So it's like stretched more like kind of wood planks okay we can do this even one more time yeah i think that's pretty pretty cool and of course we have a whole bunch of different parameters that we can play around we just have a bevel if we want to kind of uh, smooth them out which is kind of cool i guess we could use a bit of bevel you know maybe like this little amount we can even change the curve but you can really play around with all the settings additionally you can also play around with the settings over here. Not all of them are exposed from the details, only the main ones, but 
it's also cool if you want to change you know things a bit quicker but now as you can see we have progressed because we have a grid texture that has a bit of a plank you know shape into it because well the planks are like stretched upwards right so we're getting there but now we need one very important thing which is obviously to set the color of the planks so like i mentioned we can add a color node and i can just leave this as color double click and put this to be more like brown right so let me find i guess maybe like here we can start to get more of a plank color and as with the material node or material graph sorry we can also just drag and say multiply now it isn't as cool as the material graph where we can type the symbols we have to kind of manually you know type multiply and things like that but probably it will get even better as we go and we can connect this here and connect this here and boom guess what we now have as you can see chocolate <laughs> i was expecting to do plank this looks more than chocolate but of course we can play around with all of the parameters was more like planks but we are not limited to a single color we can also do additionally from this is do a threshold okay and a threshold allows us to split the things into two colors okay so we have like a threshold and you can see we can kind of set the vision between the actual planks and the my middle parts right to divide them so what we can do is we can also set it over here is simply do a lerp okay and a lerp allows us like in blueprints to transition between two values with an alpha okay in this case it is this one over here which is the lerp value is the scalar node so if we go ahead and ignore okay our multiply node and you just put this over here and we now plug this onto here and we put the scalar to be the threshold we now get this why because the color is this but we don't want to go ahead and you know go from black to black we want to have two colors so we can have this color for the middle parts and this other color for the inner parts so we could change this to here as you can see now the inner parts are more uh kind of at this color right so we can start to do this over here and it kind of changes we can also do this here more darker and we start to get some really cool patterns so yeah it's kind of up to you as you can see there's a lot of different things that we can do we can also blur it right we can add material functions which is really cool we can add vectors we're gonna have a lot of different you know mathematical kind of equations that we can use obviously this ones are a bit more tricky to add into your you know texture if you're starting out but it's actually pretty pretty cool we can even add noise which is nice i mean we could even multiply uh this so if i type multiply with this over here as you can see, we have like essentially some uh, noise patterns on top of our material, which is pretty cool. We could obviously change the amplitude, the frequency, and we can just essentially create some imperfections in our texture. So it's just playing around this. As you can see, it looks a bit more natural. And we can now just maybe put this a bit more. There we go. And we start to get some really cool textures. Now, this is uh, it's not exactly some, you know, wooden planks, but you get the idea. You can really do a lot of cool stuff with this plugin over here in this tool. I did make a video initially when I, you know, uh, saw the release, right? And when this plugin released, but I wanted to go ahead and make another video a bit more in depth using the noise node, the pattern again, but with lerp and the threshold and just get a bit more into it but once we have our texture okay it's super easy to you know apply it into any material in the world the only thing we need to do is click here in export and as you can see it will select automatically the output which is this one so just click on export and now if we go here you can see that it's here okay this is the texture that we did 
So now it is as simple as just right clicking on this new texture and creating the material, which will be like M underscore, you know, whatever it is. Let me just put material as an example. And as you can see, it will automatically be added as the base color. So this means that I can just get a simple cube into the level and drag this new material and boom we have this new texture that we did in the texture graph but in our world and remember that it might look a bit different in terms of colors because of the lighting right so maybe as you can see you will need to darken up a bit more the texture or you just change a bit of lighting or whatever you want but you get the the lighting is going to be quite important when designing your textures but that's it guys if you found this video helpful i would really appreciate it if you like the video and subscribe to my channel i have lots of unreal engine 5 videos and tutorials so check them out join my unreal club if you are serious about learning unreal engine 5 and now yes with all that said bye bye